Chris Rutherson, this has been a long process here, a couple of years, been watching Raul. Can you take us a little bit through that process and, and how it evolved into, into signing him here today? Yeah, it has been a long process. We, uh, you know, we start to narrow down a uh, list of guys. We keep we keep a depth chart at each position, but you know, as, as injuries come with Jordan, then you highlight that position and you start to really focus in and narrow down the list. And um, you know, we've had time. It's it's watching the player live, um, interviewing the player, um, trying to gather as much information as we can, and then credit to all the scouting staff for all the hours they put in. That it doesn't really get seen between Sean and Piort and Augustine. Uh, the work they do behind the scenes, you really have to credit them for gathering all the info. And in those interviews, what specifically stood out in those interviews that, that you heard from him that made you say, he's the guy, we want him? I think usually the motivation of the player. What's your reason for coming to Seattle and playing in MLS? And um, he, he checked all the boxes and, you know, obviously his playing record speaks for itself and I think he's going to translate really well to our league. In the process of watching him play, well, A, what, when was the first time you saw him specifically? And then B, what was the moment that you saw in any of his games that convinced you that he would be the right fit with the guys that you have here? I mean, we've seen him uh, three years ago. We watched him, and uh, he was one of those players that we continued to follow that was intriguing. Um, and as it uh, started to narrow down uh, into the last six months, we started to really focus on our trips and making sure we were efficient in the way we watched them and the information we gathered. Was there a game throughout the last couple of months then that you went down and saw him play that you thought he played well enough to convince you that he was the right fit? Yeah, the, uh, the game when, we, uh, when Peru played New Zealand, uh, they had the home and away series. Um, had an opportunity to spend time there, watch him train. Um, spend time. I got kicked out of one of the trainings by the coach, but uh, you know I understand they're getting ready with their tactics for the game, so that's that's normal. But I saw enough of training to get a good feeling. What's your personal level of excitement with this signing compared to say Clan Nico Oba? How, how's this one compare in your mind? I'm always excited when we add a player to the team that we put in a lot of work, but. You know, Raul's a guy who's who's been a leading scorer in, in a great league in, in Mexico just recently. He played for his country in the World Cup. Um, so whenever you sign a player of that caliber, it's very exciting for the club. And, uh, you know, as a former player, I know that when there was a good player coming in, it was a spark for me as a player. I wanted to to connect with him, show him that I'm a good player. And I, so I think it's a boost for the whole group. You obviously have inputs coming in from a lot of you know multiple s scouts, from data, from coaches. Uh, was there a level of consensus on on uh, Rui Diaz and and maybe was he? I mean, was he the guy that everyone seemed to agree was the, the one to go after? I think we've always tried to do things collectively and collaboratively, co collaboratively at our club, and in, especially in key decisions. So, <clears throat> having the coaching staff, we we had already spent hundreds of hours with the scouting staff and we had uh, we brought it to a certain point that we presented the coaches and you know we did have uh, consensus among the whole group everyone thought he was a fantastic player and then then it's to the you know the work that Garth gets done um, getting it over the finish line so you know I, I feel like it was a collective effort and we're happy he's here and you know let's talk in a year and see how how things are playing out Just how was the process uh, by signing him with Morelia? Was it hard? Was it easy? Yeah, we had we had some assistance. Uh, you know, the the agent we've worked with before, Alejandro, um, flew there, uh, had a couple meetings. Um, you know, it took some some weeks to get that done, uh, but they were a great club to work with, and you know, we hope we can have future collaborate cl collaboration with them. Uh, how does uh, Raúl fit into the formation and your roster in general? I think Raul can play multiple positions for our team and, and especially in the way we have our setup now. He could play uh, as the, the high player in the nine. He can play underneath in the band of three. Uh, if we change our formation, he could be fantastic as, as two up front. So, you know, I think some of these decisions you think about Jordan Morris is going to come back for us and the way he plays and which player can complement that. Chris, it's halfway through in terms of the administrative process, his residency. What is the process now that you know he's got to get his status? 
When a player comes, yeah, you work through the, you know, with the immigration lawyer, you work through the P-1 visa, and, and hopefully that goes smoothly, and, and we can get him, you know, from, from when he's available on the 10th, he's available to play hopefully the next game. So, um, you know, that part, you, you just want to make sure the appointments are all set up, and he shows up, and, you know, we take it one step at a time, and then it's getting his family here, getting them settled. Uh, we have a, a great group of people helping with the onboarding and, and getting players settled so when they get here they can focus on playing games and helping us win. Does he have a roommate now just staying by himself, not to get personal, I mean, just from a team perspective? Yeah, yeah, he's here. He's, he's at a hotel here okay. and he has a representative who's with him who's uh, helping him get settled as well. So what's next, Chris? We've got this talk about bringing in at least another player. What what kind of uh, what kind of a guy can we expect to see in terms of maybe maybe attack, defend, or or just what what you would like to see this club add now, from what you're what, from what you've been working on? Yeah, I mean, I'd like to I'd like us to be able to add a, another player who's considered to start every game. So you know that it's it's a TAM level player. Um, we we've narrowed it down to a list of guys, and we've spent the same hundreds of hours watching these guys and narrowing down the list and I think the consensus is there on one or two guys and then now it's down to whether we can get the negotiations done or not.